Hey guys, Raven Chanel here, and this is part two to the unpopular opinions um, video. So the first one was really long, so I cut it into two parts. So welcome to part two. Um, Cardi B is only popular because of her looks. Again, I disagree. She has come from the bottom. People used to judge her when she was on Love and Hip Hop because of her teeth. She got her teeth fixed. Um, she got her boobs done, but who cares about all that? Kim Kardashian has the same things. She's famous for being, what is she famous for besides the sex tape? Well, now she's a lawyer, I guess, but besides that, I really don't know. Um, Cardi has come from stripping to love and hip hop. And because her rapping and her songs, they relate to people. People like to hear her. Like when you're playing music, you're not looking at the artist. You're not playing that song because the artist looks good. You're playing the song because you like the song and that the music sounds good. So I don't really understand. How she's only popular because of her looks. I don't know. I have no idea why 6 9 and Lil Pump are popular. That's a good one. I agree with that one. Mm, yeah, don't know why. 6 9 is just famous for trolling now. Like, he's really not a good rapper, so. Nicki Minaj can go in on a beat when she tries. See, I'm not a Nicki fan, but I agree. Um, I do agree. She has some pretty good songs where she's like really eating on that track, but most of these recent features have not been good. Like that song, Chris Brown's song that she hopped on. I feel like she, I personally feel like she ruined it. That's besides the point. <clears throat> mm. Okay, let's try and find another one. Okay. So this one is unpopular opinions about society. And the first one says, our society isn't strong enough emotionally. It doesn't matter if it's male or female, right or left, gay or straight. People take things too seriously. I agree to disagree <laughs> because I feel like if certain things weren't said, then people wouldn't be emotional about them. But also some people don't mean anything by what they say, like they're just joking. And there is a boundary, but like, most people don't know when they've crossed it unless you tell them. So I feel like, I don't know, I understand both sides, I guess. Um, second one is your feelings don't give you the right to hurt others or destroy their property. So the person you didn't want to be elected one, get over it. Oh, okay. So... I do agree with the, your feelings don't give you the right to hurt others or destroy their property because that saying hurt people hurt people. Well, if that person wasn't hurt in the first place, then nothing else would have happened. But also you shouldn't do anything out of spite. Um, and then the second part was, so the person you didn't want to get elected won, get over it. I don't think that you should get over it fight the good fight and whatever that person's doing wrong like we have Trump in office right now next I bet the next time you'll get up and vote I will get up and vote because I'm now 18 and I can vote now I've been registered to vote <laughs> but um yeah 
get up and vote. Tell your people to vote. Have these conversations about who is being elected into office because if you don't like what they're doing now, how you like what they're doing four years from now, you won't. So handle your business, period. Um, oh, wow. I don't agree, but I'm not going to touch that topic because it's a very sensitive topic. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and all other social media sites are destroying communication. Everyone needs to post something. Everyone needs to post something to these sites, even if it's just about eating a piece of toast. No one talks to people in person anymore, and it will ruin us. So personally, I agree to some parts and disagree to others. Um, Destroying communication, yes, that's because people are tied to these things. I personally like to post when I'm away from people, but when I'm with them, I'm engaging in conversation, bonding, like, it's not, it's not that, but I do, I do know people who just, like, stay on their phones, even if we're, like, together, like, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, the smartphone is the most dangerous device you've ever touched. I don't know what they mean by that, but if I could get a definition or like an explanation, then I could probably touch on that, but I, I can't right now. People pay too much attention to other people's business. Oh my God, yes, I agree. But also I'm not a nosy person, so. I don't know. So I agree because in some situations I am that person. I don't know. Since people are snoopy, I agree. But personally, I'm only snooping. If I have this reason of suspicion if I am suspicious about if you give me reasons to, to be suspicious then that's why I'm snooping otherwise I have no reason to um what else People are cheap and want too much for too little money. I agree that some people are cheap. I don't feel like everyone is cheap, but um, they want too much for too little money. Yeah, I mean, everyone wants to save their money. No one really likes spending, so um, I get it, I guess, but um, yeah. Someone said, boobs being sexualized is not a social construct. People won't stop lusting after you just, because it's legal to show them in public. Hmm. I'm gonna let y'all handle that one. I don't know. No, I'm not gonna touch that subject. Let's go to the next one. Unpopular opinions about relationships. Someone said it's okay to fart in front of your significant other, LOL. Um, if y'all are that close, handle your business, period. Um, don't be messing up your insides for no dude or for no girl. Handle your business. I mean, say excuse me, but if you gotta go, you gotta go. If you act like you don't care, don't get mad 
when they find somebody who cares. Keep that same energy. Period. I agree. <laughs> I 100% agree with this one. So many people are so desperate for love that they forget to take the time to love and learn themselves. I do agree. People are fast to jump into relationships and they don't know what they're getting themselves into. And it's just chaos from the beginning because they don't know what they want. Because when you love yourself, you know your standards, you know what you deserve, what you don't deserve. So. If you just hop in a relationship, then it's it's not gonna end well. Most nine out of ten times, I swear. Not that I'm a like relationship guru. I just know that. I know that we have to take the time to understand you before you hop in a relationship. That's just as simple as that. <clears throat> If the goal of the relationship isn't to eventually get married and be committed forever, then what is the point? I don't want it. A hundred and ten thousand percent agree. I don't want it. <laughs> because the end goal is to get married or to make a future with this person. So... Why are you just dating for fun? I mean, I understand like middle school relationships, or, like a little high school relationship, but eventually they're gonna grow up. <laughs> so if you're not dating with the end goal in mind, then I don't know what you're doing. That's the thing you have to ask yourself before you hop into the relationship. Could you see yourself marrying this person or having kids with this person or making a career with this person? You have to ask yourself that before you get in a relationship. And that's just period on period. Hmm. What works in one relationship won't work for all. Learning new things with your partner is as important, is an important shared experience. I agree. Um, not all relationship advice, advice can be given to everyone. Like, it won't work for everyone so you have to figure out what works for you and your significant other or your friend or you and your mom it doesn't matter what kind of relationship it is um you just have to figure out what works for y'all you cannot apply everyone's theories and uh whatever they think is gonna work for y'all you have to see for yourself and if you can't work it out together then I don't think y'all should be together honestly um. oh that's very okay don't tell people when you and your significant other are fighting you forget everyone else will hold it against them that is very true um You've seen it in so many movies where like the the girl goes and tells her friends and then the guy comes over and her friends are like, mm-hmm, like, mm, wow, that's how you really feel. You wasn't saying that last week, girl, type stuff, you know, but don't tell everybody your business. Um, a lot of people think it's cool to be around 24 seven, but that's unhealthy. People need their space. Um, I agree. I've had this conversation with my sister and she's like, she doesn't like being around someone for too long type stuff. But I don't know. I feel like everyone does need their space. Like I can't be cuddled up for too long. I don't know. I have to go paint or like go do something. There is no such thing as the honeymoon phase. If you're in love, you're in love. You don't just lose the lovey-dovey feeling after the first couple of months. I agree. Um, 
I agree. You should stay committed and do the same things as if you just met that girl the first day. I'm about to end this video though right now. Setting sun approaches for